Joining me on the line now is Barry Gardner, Labour MP for Brent North, who's been campaigning on the issue of cladding for some time. Barry, very good evening. Good evening, yes. Hi. Barry, hi. Um, what, what do you make of today's announcement? On the face of it, it Hello? looks... Uh, uh, can you hear me, Barry? Yes, I can no, hear you fine, yeah. You can, fine. Um, what do you make of this announcement today from Michael Gove? Does it go as far as you would want it to? Um, it, it it goes a great deal of the way if you think it's going to be delivered upon. Um, the trouble is this. It only deals with uh, cladding in respect of the, the fund that they're talking about. And then it says that the developers must pay for the failures, the unsafe properties. Um, but we've been saying that for three and a half years. And the fact of the matter is that any developer that was going to voluntarily do this would have already done so. So what we asked for three and a half years ago is for the government to put a windfall tax upon the industry and then to make sure that this work is done, that's the government spending the money and reclaiming it in a tax from the industry, a windfall tax. Now, there's, well, 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 there's just, a suggestion just on that, they though, might Just do on that. that. Yeah. Just on that, Barry. Sure. If you put a windfall tax on an industry, then companies who have not been at all involved in building this type of building, they will be penalised, and surely that's not fair. Well, I, I think what has been apparent is that because this is not just about cladding, it's about all sorts of other defects in, in the construction of these blocks. We're talking about uh, fire breaks, we're talking about flammable balconies, we're talking about um, combustible insulation. Um, there's a lot of other issues which are making these buildings unsafe and it appears that it is endemic throughout the industry. Now, of course, the be uh, a number of, of developers uh, who have used contractors um, and unbeknown to them this has been a problem um, but actually they are the party that is responsible and at the moment it's the leaseholder that is paying these costs um, and will still have to and under this new proposal that Michael Gove put out today um, what they've said is that um, it will be the leaseholders that have to take the developer or the freeholder to court. Now, the leaseholders do not have the funds to do that. And coordinating across uh, a development that might have uh, 200, 300, 700 different leaseholders in it, um, for them is a huge task to then coordinate that, ensure that everybody contributes into that legal fund and that they're able then to take the necessary steps against uh, uh, against the, the offending party. Much better that the government puts a tax on the industry because that's what they're threatening to do at the end of the day if the developers don't do it voluntarily. And the problem is that many of the developers have already gone into liquidation. Mm. And in that case, what happens? In that case, it will it will fall to the government to determine um, who who is now going to bear these costs. Is it going to be the, the freeholder who who has bought uh, these properties, perhaps completely innocently, believing them to be sound, because that is what the industry assured with all the building um, regulations guarantees, all the different surveys that have been performed. Um, and that's why it, it really is a nightmare to say that it's, it's down to the leaseholders to, to actually pursue through the courts the relevant party, um, because it's very unclear who is going to be the relevant party. Um, so I, I do think the other issues that, that really were not covered in this statement today, uh, insurance for leaseholders has absolutely rocketed. People are paying thousands of pounds now in insurance. Um, and yet, of course, they are not the assured. They pay it in their in their service charge, but they are not the people who then actually receive that insurance cover. That is the freeholder that gets that cover. More reaction to Michael Gove's announcement today on cladding. Uh, Kevin Hollenrake is Conservative MP for Thirsk and Morton. Kevin, very good evening. Um, good why, evening. why has it taken three and a half years for this announcement to be made? 
Well, it's £9, nine billion pounds of taxpayers' money. It's a huge amount of money, of course. And I think initially people just didn't understand the scale of the problem. And that's I, I thought the builders were going years. to be paying... How is it taxpayers' well, money? Exactly I thought the builders right. were going to be paying. So, so if the government had stepped in right at the start, the government put £5 billion in even before this announcement. If the government put money in right at the start, the builders wouldn't have paid. We've seen hundreds of millions of pounds paid for by developers, quite rightly, who had got this wrong, who have remediated buildings out of their own resources. So that's quite right. So the government didn't want to step in and then those builders be able to say, well, the work's going to be, going to be done anyway. So, uh, but uh, again, there's a... A combination of situations occurred, a, a creeping awareness of the scale of the problem, but also the fact you want private sector developers to do the remediation themselves, which to some extent has actually, actually happened anyway. Um, obviously, a lot of people hopefully will be relieved by this, but there are still going to be lots of other costs that they have to meet, aren't there? This is, this is not a, a sort of catch-all solution for people who are facing bills of thousands of pounds. Well, that is potentially one of the problems, although what the Secretary of State said today, Michael Gove said today quite clearly, was his solution, which is pretty creative, is going to those developers, spend a lot of time identifying exactly who's responsible, then making sure they pay for all the defects in the building, not just the cladding, but potentially other things like insulation or, uh, or installations that haven't been done properly. So all those things. So the, the answer is not necessarily. I think the Secretary of State did imply today those other matters would be taken into account and I don't think it is right that leaseholders have to foot the bill for work that's not been done properly or indeed for combustible cladding replacement or combustible insulation that's inappropriate on the side of tall buildings. And I think that's the Secretary of State's intention that these matters would all be swept up in the new initiative that he's put together today. I, I suppose this is proof that one politician can make a difference because you do wonder why Robert Jenrick, when he was Housing Secretary, didn't do the same thing. Well, it's difficult. I mean, what Rob Jenrick got was about £4 billion of funding, and it's very difficult. The Treasury's got an awfully difficult job. You know what it's like. In the, looking after taxpayers' money, they've got to make sure that money's spent wisely. So Rob Jenrick did get £4 billion worth of extra mediation. That was seen as quite groundbreaking at the time. I think it quickly became apparent there's lots of work did need to happen that wouldn't be covered under under that particular funding scheme. And what Michael Gove has done is gone back to the Treasury and said, this is a different way to do it. This is still not going to hit the taxpayer. We're going to get this money back off developers. And it's put this scheme together, which I think does tick an awful lot of boxes needing to be ticked to solve this problem.